Hello everyone, I thought to myself I'm gonna make a guide to Stellaris, so I'm here with my good friend Tom. Say hi Tom. Hi, I'm glad I'm here. I love your content Zero, huge fan. But there's something weird here. What? What do you mean? Don't you think we kinda sound similar? Yeah, that's kinda weird to find two guys with exactly the same voice. It's, it's a low chance, but it's still possible. Or maybe I've created you only for a purpose to make this video more dynamic in structure. Uh, maybe you've just forgotten to take your medication this morning. I think you might be right. What was I talking about? A guide to Stellaris. Oh, thank you Tom. So first, you're gonna have to create a race you want to play, or be a guy without any imagination and pick some of the pre-made ones like Commonwealth of Men. But if you do pick them, don't wonder why no one wants to talk to you at the parties. When creating your faction, the most important thing is picking your ethics. You can pick up to three of them or one fanatic and the other one normal. You can choose from awesome things like authoritarian, egalitarian, xenophobe, xenophile, militarist, pacifist, materialist, spiritualist, so many options. But in the end, I know you're gonna just pick militarist plus something else because it's most fun to play. It's funny that we all talk about peace, but when are given a choice, we choose something resembling a genocide route. Or maybe just Stellaris political system sucks. My favorite combo is Militaris and Xenophile, so I can make everyone friends with each other using something that works. Pure force. What's your favorite Empire, Tom? I'm part of your imagination, Zero. I think what you think, so asking me this type of questions is meaningless. Please take your meds. Good one, Tom. Thank you. Now, the second important thing is species straight. Just take intelligent and move on. Oh, look. I've made a YouTuber. Next we have an authority, you can choose to be democratic and have a delusion of people's choice because there is an organization that chooses who will win it in the end. Oligarchic? It's, it's kinda the same as democratic but there is 20 years instead of 10. Dictatorial and imperial. And last but not least, you have civics. There are bonuses for an empire in the long term. There are so many to choose, so just pick what you want. <laughs> it took some time. We can play now, I guess. When you want to communicate with other empires, you will find a lot of options, but I'm gonna show you most useful ones. This is when you see that you are stronger than them, and this one is when you see you are weaker than them. Enough said. Your pops have a happiness meter. They work worse when they are depressed, and they will work better when they are happy. You can make them happy, for example, by giving them welfare or in the air with chemicals. Oh, you are already lost in a guide and you just wanna fight? Then pick hive mind and devouring swarm in ethics. Your diplomatic menu have their only useful options and you don't have to worry about happiness. The only thing you have to worry about is food. It's still something too complicated? Then pick gestalt. Gestalt. Gestalt conscious. Con Gest Robots, you don't have to even worry about food. Still too complicated? Then why did you pick this game, huh? As I've mentioned before, declare war option is one of two useful options in Stellaris, so we're gonna use that often, and uh, it would be good to learn how to wage wars. There are several rules to wars. There are several rules to war. When you have same fleet sizes, but you have more advanced technology, go for it. When you have same fleet sizes and same technology, yeah, you can go for it. When you have smaller fleet size and worse technology, what are you, a pussy? Go for it. Everyone loves a good story about an underdog, like... Rocky... and... Rocky 2... and... They've made six of them? Is it the same story over and over again? You know, you lose all the suspense. In the fifth movie, this man is Terminator at this point, I guess. It probably looks more like he lets them have some faith in winning, and then he's crushing them into the ground after losing few rounds. My god, this series is about a psycho that wants to have fun with his prey. It's fucked up. I think that's all the time we have for today, I guess. But don't you edit a video and post it? So you are the one deciding what length it would be. 
it's not like you have a contract for Silis or something. Oh, oh Tom, no, do you have something to tell the audience before I take the meds? Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Thank you, Tom. If we hit one like, one like, that's that's almost sure at this point. Ten likes then. Uh, same deal. One million likes. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Uh, a little bit too far. Uh, something like 500 then? Yeah, I think it's reasonable. Okay then, if we hit 500 thousand really? likes, I'm gonna make a series of quick guides regarding more top things in Stellaris. Okay, uh, the video is over now. You can you can just go, or if you want, uh, or if you want to, you know, watch more of my content in the left upper corner. There is something. There's probably something regarding a Stellaris topic, and and in the right upper corner you have something not a Stellaris content. Yeah, there are no jokes now. Just pure silence. <laughs> you still there? Really? You know, you can go.